latest opportunity to get to Paris comes here for two veterans for the United States. Greco Roman, 97 kilos, Joe Rao and Alan Vera battling here in the decisive third bout. Joe Rao running out. And so Joe Rao there, again, native of the Chicago area. 33 years of age, just like his opposite number, Alan Vera. And there's the man from Jersey City, New Jersey now, but originally from Cuba. While representing Cuba at the Pan Am qualifier for 2016, he defected, granted asylum here in the United States, eventually became a U.S. citizen, been a four-time national champ in the United States, two-time world team member, had a breakthrough at the Olympics. And Joe Rao, thinking of what could be for him, he was an Olympic trials champion in Rio, but the weight never got qualified, so he didn't get to compete. And then he lost in the finals three years ago in Tokyo, trying to get the win this time and get through and get the chance to finally wrestle at an Olympic. Headlock try, but it's, but it's called a slip there. And Joe Rout would love to make it after not having the opportunity in Rio. Thanks to Alan Vera, this weight class is qualified for Paris, qualified at the Pan Am Championships earlier this year. And Vera able to get things done in round one. But Rao got a win his first against Vera in their history in the second round to push this to a third. Vera, such a classic Greco Roman wrestler, very upright style. Rao trying to dig in under hooks, trying to keep his weight underneath, control the mat position. Use it to move Vera around. Vera trying to dig for a gut for a uh, underhook of his own. Nice move there by Rao. Joe Rao able to score two. Can he add more? Gets a governance on top of the takedown. A pair of deuces look strong for Joe Rao here early on in this decisive bout. Vera might, neck wrap might, might be showing a neck injury because he's tried a couple of desperation. Oh, oh steps over. So Rao got two confirmed. And now Vera trying to counter. Stalemate coming. Joe Rao in good position here. Two points away from winning early by technical superiority. If you get to eight or more in a Greco-Roman bout, it stopped early. Let's see if there's some. Nice step over, but didn't result in any points yet. Yeah, it looks like there's some blood time for Joe Rao, so they'll stop that up. Uh, nice little exposure there to the takedown. Sees that Vera's relaxed and just says, you know what? I'll go to the gut and get another two. Great recognition there, Joe Rao. To work for another scoring sequence. A couple of head snaps there by Joe Rao. Unbalanced Vera, getting to move. Digging in on that underhook, looking for a double under. And one more two-point scoring move or larger away from ending it early here via technical superiority. We would love to do that. Probably won't take any undue risk here with a 6-0 lead. Well, things can change quickly in Greco-Roman. Grand amplitude throw for five. Oh, that's it. Well, Joe Rao turning the corner and gets it done. And finally, for Joe Rao, an Olympic dream realized. Some respect between these two. Your Olympic team nominee. Thought it would happen when he won at the Olympic trials in Rio in 2016, but didn't get the chance to wrestle there. 
Still went to Rio and helped his teammates train. This time he gets to go there and wrestle with the weight qualified. The Rowe clan celebrating.